Hello everybody, welcome to another video. I'm calling this video cloudy with a chance of photography. The weather report said it's going to be cloudy today and if we look around me, can you see it? All that wonderful fluffy clouds everywhere. If I can get them incorporated into some landscape photography and landscape photography is the key today simply because I've been focusing on motorsport and street photography and 35 millimeter camera photography, all of that kind of ilk. I thought, you know what, you've been letting the side down. You've not done any landscape photography. So I thought, well, where's the highest point from in relation to where I live? And it's here at Dover Castle. This castle, as we know it, built by Henry II. There was a, a fort here in the Iron Age. There was also um, a wooden fort here when um, the Romans were here. And then subsequently in 1066, when William the Conqueror came, he built a wooden fort here. But it was Henry II in the 1100s that gave us the castle as we know it. So I want to go up there on the keep, take some shots. I think I'll do a video on the castle in its own right. Um, I know that there's a nice location over there, so I'm gonna go there. We'll walk down to the viewpoint so yeah let's let's set up there's also a nice view of the um of the dover port not dover port you know the the harbor the beach area Ugh, getting all muddled up i'm trying to plan ahead <laughs> but in fact all i need to do is get to the location and set up we'll talk about the settings and um take it from there anyway what we've got here let's get the camera working for you Put it on live view. It's kind of a postcard scene. I know it's not particularly landscape photography, but the way the sun is washing on the beach and the marina at the back, it looks kind of nice. And I've got myself a nice kind of postcard. So that's shot number one. Now I'm going to set the camera to. I kind of want to see if I can get the gla uh, the, the the water still you know, like shimmery, like, like a mirror, which means I need a slow shutter speed. So in manual mode, at one tenth of a second, it wants f-stop 29, f-29. And I think that looks quite nice, doesn't it? A kind of a postcard shot. Seaside town, welcome. <laughs> Have a look at that picture and um, I'll move on to another one quickly. It would be churlish not to take a picture i know i said landscapes but it would be silly not to take a picture of the castle while i'm here at the castle this is what i've got so at 18 mil as i pull it right out i can include the castle with some limited sky and the footpath there's a footpath going up to the portcullis people are going in or I can zoom in such like that, but of course I chop off both sides of the castle. So what I'll have to do is two shot pano, left shot, right shot. So let me set up, I think I'll do two pictures. We'll do the pano and we'll do the 18 mil view because I've got to get the castle in if I'm at Dover Castle, haven't I? It's very difficult in a public domain area like this taking a picture. If you're doing woods and mountains, there's going to be no people. However, I've got people. And I can't deny them their pleasure. Two seconds. So that will be shot one. I'm going to put it there. Would it be there on the screen? I think so. I'm always doing that, aren't I? Pan to the right. Keep the keep in there. Keep the keep in there. Shot two. So that's shot two. I'll display, they're, they're the two shots. I'm gonna make a pano out of that, but I'm also gonna take the same shot at 18 mil, pull right back, get some blue sky, get the footpath in. I think 18 mil isn't needed. 
Dover Castle on a summer's day, F13, ISO 100, 50th of a second. Just wait for that person to come out of the way. Great, <laughs> that worked wonderfully. Mm -mm -mm. Dover Castle. All right, let's go and do some. Let's get up on the keep and look down and survey the area. <laughs> king, king of my um. Oh, don't be silly. Let's go up into the keep. So before I take a few shots and set up for it, as you can see, lots of people here. We've got the North Tower, East Tower, South Tower and the West Tower. So let's have a quick look and see what I could potentially take a photograph of. So looking due south, Admiralty Harbour, which was completed in 1897. And 1909 accommodated the ships of the Royal Navy. Over there are the fortifications on the Western Heights and it's the largest built in England during the Napoleonic War. You can actually walk in and around it. I'm doing you a tour here. <laughs> right, what have we got down here? You've got Peveril's Gate just there and that connects the northern and southern parts of the Outer Bailey. You've got the heights of that tower there being reduced in the 18th century to support heavy guns. So you've got buildings and everything. What can I take a shot of for the south? Let's have a look over at the northern side. <laughs> Tourists, <laughs> all exciting stuff. You've got two gun emplacements for heavy, heavy artillery. So they were um, preparing themselves during World War II, weren't they? Shoot down the enemy aircraft. Right, what we've got here, this is looking due north. North's actually that direction. So you've got some radar masts, got this lovely lush countryside. I think what I'll do for that shot is head down there because there's a nice place to stand down there and take a shot of that, but I'll take a shot from up here anyway. So you've got radar towers. Um, one of the towers built in 1936 to 38 is the earliest surviving radar transmission tower in the UK. What have we got down here? Avranches Tower built with multiple loopholes for defence by soldiers with crossbows. All the buildings below are barracks and they were built in 1744 to 45 for officers. Now what was it saying? Officers those with arched windows are for officers and those with square windows are for ordinary soldiers. <laughs> if we look due west, what we get is you've got the original entrance. So that would have had a drawbridge and I think that was built. That's like the inner bailey. This is the inner bailey. That's the middle bailey. That's the outer bailey. Or is that the outer bailey? So many baileys. It's lovely to look at, but that's the town of Dover. So I'm not sure I'll get a shot of that for landscapes. <laughs> and of course, due east is looking out to the channel. So let's see what we've got here. You've got the church. St. Mary and Castro Church, built around AD 1000, before the Norman Conquest. The Pharos, of course, which is the Roman lighthouse, the oldest building in the castle. What have we got where the people are coming through? Colton's Tower, the entrance to the middle bailey. So where's the outer bailey then? This is the inner bailey, all around the building here. That's the middle bailey. Outer bailey, obviously. Oh yeah. The outer bailey goes around 
<laughs> I will have to do a tour. Um, the curtain wall in the middle barely built around the 13th century goes around the church. It's very going out. So let me set up. Let's see if we can get a shot or two. Right, shot one <laughs> from the northern section. Not much that I can show you here, but I've got some landscape, some sky. I'll adjust my polarizer, I think. If I turn that, you can see it hopefully giving me some nice washes. So I've got a little crop of the tower there. Let's pull it back a bit. It's a question of what do I want? If I come too low, I get a car park. That's no good. Don't want the car park. So just about there. We'll put the, the um, edge of the North Downs and the cliffs smack in the middle. I'm going to F11 once the thirtieth of a second. Just give it a second to allow the wash of sunlight to bathe. That's quite nice. It was cloudy with the chance of photography, wasn't it? I'll take that shot, but I've got a nice wash of sunlight right on that clump of trees there the little cops of trees can you see it i just had a wash of sunlight on that and that's a mike brown moment so i'll wait for the sun to come out that's coming out oh it's right on that road as well that's nice changed my mind people i saw a better picture it's a little road just down on the right that's the shop. Lovely. Right, those two shots. I'm going to go over to the eastern. Where am I? North, east, the eastern perimeter. We'll have to see what we can see there. And it might not be so slopey. So looking due east, we've got St. Mary and Castro Church with France in the background. How much of France can you see? Can you see France? Just about there. Camera's a bit skew with. I'll, I'll line it up in a second. But if I pull it back out, you've got the middle bailey, the outer bailey where the people are doing the work over there. So I think if I get a shot here of the church with that kind of really strange looking cloud, <laughs> cloudy with the chance of photography right there's not really a lot to look at due west and due south other than Dover so yeah I'll go for this shot and um, and then we'll go down the tower <laughs> you might get some footage and I'll speed it up me going down it's a lot easier than coming up <laughs> and then we'll go for one more shot over at the other side of the um, middle bailey mm -hmm. In order to celebrate hitting 100 subscribers, it happened this week, it tripped over. So all you subscribers out there, thank you very much. All 100 of you. <laughs> Exciting times. Wow, I get so easily distracted. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to do a video for this castle for my own channel rather than the photography channel. Just look at the kitchen. It's amazing and the keep looks fabulous right over to that location okay one final location then we've got the edge of the tower we've got the outer outer bailey wall we've got this lush countryside it's quite clear not so hazy but it did say cloudy <laughs> and i'm thinking not so 
cloudy that I was anticipating little fluffy cotton wool type clouds but it's just a layer of cloud now so I think a nice shot of this the rustic old tower get some detail coming out there We've got the green fields and the, the trees look at the Sun coming across there that looks lovely try and get some kind of landscape shot out of this try and get it to look as medieval as possible that would be quite a challenge wouldn't it <laughs> we'd need some horses and some knights in shining armor coming out so we'll set you up I'll get the camera out 100 subscribers who'd have thought it that's quite amazing for a channel that you know is so hard to compete with all the other fabulous photography channels out there my channel isn't based on you know have my ebook have my course do this do that all I'm doing is taking shots and you, you come along for the ride <laughs> you know so you see how I do it and maybe get something from it you know recenter oh yeah that's a nice shot with the castle behind me isn't it so there's 18 mil I get a better perspective in video mode but isn't that lush so I'll, I'll, I'll definitely do a pano because I'll crop in to about here the videos overexposing and that's fine and I'll take that and then bring it to the right so that I get that little hill down here okay so two shot panorama let's size this up sorry I've got kids talking away there having a time of their lives at the castle I wonder if they know it was built by Henry the <laughs> second two second two shot panorama it's kind of dark but I'll be here all day if I wait for the sunshine maybe I'll bring out some of the highlights with some dodging and burning f10 do I want f10 no let's push that let's go f13 it wants a 13th of a second f14 now 13th of a second that's better brings out the greens and let's head to the right straighten it up I like my panoramas still f14 13th of a second Yeah, quite nice. See if I can do a little pano out of that. I'm running out of battery power on that. Mostly because I didn't plan to come out and do a photo shoot, and then I did. <laughs> it's the best way to do it, isn't it? So, thank you so much for watching, bearing with. Thank you to my 100 subscribers. If you don't haven't subscribed yet, then feel free to click the subscribe button and give the video a like. Let's see if we can get to 200 subscribers. That would be quite astonishing, wouldn't it? <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.